We are having a fantastic morning. Just putting her in gear. Just finished unloading here in the Hudson, New York. And talked to dispatch after I was done unloading and he says to uh, go back empty to Mississauga, Ontario. So uh, we will be making our way to Mississauga. the roads are going to be okay here in a little bit I should be back on 87 I 87 that is and we'll be on the main roads again yeah I am happy that I finally got this load off oh this was a tough 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 load I don't know I don't like delivering these windows man that was a pain getting into all these tight places, you know. But we got her done. And that's the main part, right? Got all that heavy lifting done and now we are back on the road. We got 411 miles to go to Mississauga. We'll see what we got from there, but uh, I'm sure they got a load. Otherwise, they wouldn't send me there. At least that's what I think. So we'll make our way down there and we'll see what happens. Alrighty. I am just leaving the duty free here and uh, well, I don't know what this side of the border is called, but the other side is Fort Erie, Ontario. I keep forgetting what this side is called, but uh, I just stopped here in the duty free because uh, I wanted to clean my lights. I can't really see anything in the lights there, so I figured I uh, go ahead and clean the lights. That way, once I get across the border, I can drive, you know, and I can see stuff, you know. And we are just getting on the bridge here. We'll be in Ontario right away. Yeah, the other side is called Buffalo. There we go. Just remember the other side is called Buffalo but uh, I was going to tell you guys the story about uh, yesterday evening when I was sitting in my truck I had my curtains closed and all that stuff and I was uh, just watching a movie purchased a movie in the truck up there and I was watching a movie and uh, all of a sudden I hear a bang and uh, I, I slide my curtain aside and I look and uh, guy beside me or, or not right beside me like right between me and another guy there was an open parking spot so somebody tried to back her in and he hit the other guy trying to back into the spot so he broke the other guy's bumper and all that stuff Crossing so order. that scared me for a while I I slid my curtains open again and I I sat on the driver's seat there for a while and watched everybody trying to back in their spots and all that that scared me a bit and uh, but yeah so we are just entered we just entered Ontario here so we'll go across the border here I know it's probably a little dark for you guys to see but Anyways, we'll see you later on. I don't know how good you're gonna be able to see it, but underneath that bridge They got lights and they change colors on them, eh? I don't know how well you're gonna be able to see it, but uh, it looks pretty good at night when it's all dark They change those colors. It's pretty cool. Well, good evening I guess it's good evening for me. I don't know if it's for you, but hey, it's good evening for me. I am in Mississauga, Ontario. Just finished dropping my trailer and uh, Bob Tilder over to uh, Fly and Jay fueled up and guess what? I am ready to go have, take a walk over to Master Steak. After all the stuff that I've been going has been going on all week, I think I deserve a nice steak, you know. Uh, I mean, it's been such a bad week for me uh, 
first when I got out I was having air leak problems with the truck and all that and I couldn't get out for a couple of days to get that fixed and then I get on the road I get two days worth of driving and then the third day I'm stuck on the road pretty much because of the ice rain and all that stuff alright now my alarm has to beep here in the truck that's always annoying that means my lights will go out soon Hopefully my AP unit will kick in here soon. But uh, anyways, then I got all that ice rain and then uh, had to deal with that. I basically lost the whole day over there and then I went and did my deliveries, you know. And uh, I guess my light is going to go off here soon. Oh, no, it's come back on. But anyways, and then I was having problems uh, getting my last delivery off, you know. He wasn't going to do it till the next day, so I lost another half day up there, you know. And then this patch tells me once I'm unloaded there to go empty to Mississauga, and here I am. And he tells me I even don't have a load here today yet, so he said check back tomorrow morning. So I guess we'll have to do that, but I'm sure they got something here, otherwise they probably wouldn't have sent me here, right? At least that's what you would think, right? But anyways... I think that should about do it for today. Oh, come on. This thing is right here in my ear too, so it's really loud. <laughs> so I guess I'll cut it for today. And we'll see you guys again tomorrow. Bye.